Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jin Gianni, and Alice is here with me today. It's my beautiful model, and we are plain footsie, <laughs> and we're going to do some partner Pilates. We're going to go through the, the spine twist, and one of the best ways to do the spine twist is with the partner, foot to foot, and we're going to take it from the classical version first, where the pelvis stays upright, and you're just getting that thoracic rotation. Now, a lot of people go a little bit too far and create a really rigid lumbar spine and pelvis in order to do that, but we're going to take it in a small range of motion to do the classical version. All right, so we're just going to put the fingertips onto the shoulders, elbows forward a little bit, just to kind of take it easy. And someone could always bend their knees a little bit, so I want um, Alice to really reach her feet into me and I'm going to try to do the same and we're going to keep the pelvis upright so you really want to notice the weight on the sits bones so we're going to rotate towards the camera first right and really think about the pelvis that you're rotating away from keep dropping that sitting bone down into the floor and then come back to center Good. And now rise up, like your carousel pull, and then go in the opposite direction. And really let the sitting bone that you're rotating away from drop down into the floor. And really think about that symmetrical length on both sides of your waist. Good. And then come back to center. And Alice and I can even cue each other. So we're going to lengthen and we're going to rotate. Yep. Good. And keep dropping that sitting bone down. And I want to see symmetrical length. Take your rib cage a little bit over that hip. Yes, there you go. And then come back to center and lengthen and rotate, keeping the pelvis in place. Yeah, and so, yeah, that cue is important on this side. So really feel that length between your armpit and your hip. Good, and come back to center. All right, rest for a second. Woo! So now we're going to take this a, a, a little bit further, but we're going to practice what we're going to do with our feet and our our pelvic halves first. So staying in contact with the feet, let's start with the camera leg first and we'll go towards you. Good. So we're going to take, in a moment, the rotation is going to be initiated from the pelvis. So we can go a little bit further. Good. And this is, this is really telling on <laughs> which leg doesn't quite want to draw back into the hip socket. Yeah, it's getting better. So we're, we're oiling the hips now. Great. So now let's find even. Elbows up, right? A little bit in front of the shoulders. So we're going to start pushing back into this hip and we're going to rotate towards the camera. There you go. Good. And see here we can go a little bit further. Nice, and keep dropping down into that hip, and then come back to center. Yeah, good. Keep remembering the cue about your rib cage. And rising up, yep, and that hip is moving back, right? It's like the sitting bones are in sand. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you keep dropping that hip down. Bring your rib cage over the hip, over the hip, over, yes, there you go. And come back to center, and rise up, mm-hmm. Good, that looks really nice. And gently back to center. And one more in each direction, rise up. And the pelvis initiates, yep, this is your hard side. And keep that sitting bone dropping down. Keep the rib cage over that left hip, nice. And then gently back to center and relax. All right, let's cross the legs. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. And the, the, the teaching there is that to go in a really big range of motion and rotation, the pelvis has to do some movement or you're going to lock up and injure the lumbar spine in the pelvis. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.